I regret to say it, really, but I have to acknowledge that I was a slave driver. I didn't realize it at the time. I was so dedicated and so fanatical, and I was a, I was a, I was a pill about sanitation. Uh, I had everything in my makeup uh, equipment. I had uh, clean receptacles for lipstick and for, uh, I had all my sponges were always carefully washed. I even had separate containers of pancakes. I went through a lot of nonsense, mainly because when I started, I wanted to make a good impression, and I really wanted everything to be sanitary. I, it was part of pride. Uh, but also had, I had the time to be able to do this. When I had a staff, I wouldn't let them sit around goofing off. I would put them to work, cleaning up this and that and the other thing. And I became, I became, I realized later in my TV career from a dear friend who joined me, who I hired and who, who worked with me for a while as a makeup artist. So he's really an artist, sculptor and so forth and later left the business. But during the time I knew him, we became close enough so that he, t he said one day, do you know what your staff thinks of you? I said, no. He said, do you know they're afraid of you? He said, you're kidding. Me? Me, the shy, introverted kid? You know, the, the me? They're afraid of me? You're kidding. And uh, so this was the beginning of a revelation of how I came across to other people. And I was shocked, and I didn't like it. And, I, and also he said, and this was what really hurt, he said, and you know, you're a company man. I knew enough to know what they, he meant. He said, what? And I treated, I realized, he made me realize that I treated my department like, I be, like it belonged to me. Not to NBC, but like it was mine. And if someone stole makeup or something like that, it was like they took it from me. Uh, and, and this is why I, I always kept them busy and doing things and all that. He said, well, let's take it easy for a while. Anyway, it was great, and I, I learned to relax. You did? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And, um, and, and, and it prepared me for being, in effect, kicked out of NBC. Because mm -hmm. I realized I, I don't belong to NBC, and they don't, you know, this is nothing. This is, I, I'm, I, I'm not theirs. I'm a damn good uh, head of the department. And beyond that, I don't owe them anything. And of course, they don't know me anything. I knew they didn't know me anything. 